Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the second part of uh, e-commerce project. In this project I am going to add connection strings that is already added in the last video tutorial. So you can see uh, the last section uh, of the connection strings that is connection strings and the connection string name is ecom context connections. The server name is local db ms sql local db you know very well about that and database is a e-commerce trusted connection and multiple active result set is there so uh, how to register that connection string in a startup.cs file that is the second step you can do in uh, your uh, into your project Okay, uh, the next step is to add or register the connection string in your conf uh, in, into your startup.cs file. So in the configure service method, uh, you can add a new pipeline into your project, you can say. So uh, the step is to uh, have everyone know about the add connection string, add SQL connection strings. Services dot add db context, first of all, register db context into your uh, uh, register into your uh, pipeline you can say though so add db context and in which you can add the connection uh, context name that is ecom context under your data section okay ecom context okay oops this pc is battery and uh, in which you can pass the options okay and uh, options and uh, you know that the visual studio 2022 provide uh, some basic steps like dot u sql connection application service provider tap tap to accept that so all these things provide visual studio 22 that is the great features you know so you sql server and the sql server is actually exist in the entity framework core and in which you can pass uh, some basic tips like uh, configuration dot get connection string okay and uh, And in which you pa in which you can pass ecom context uh, resolve the namespace and use SQL Server actually exist in Microsoft Entity Framework Core. Okay, so get connection string and uh, you can notice that. Actually, three things three processes there okay so in the connection string you can pass uh, just go to the app settings dot session file and select ecom context connections just copy that and paste under that in the connection strings constructor you can say get connection strings okay so the uh, the register connection string is uh, successfully and after that just add these model into the in the db set you can say use db set to add these models in the context class and db set hold book the property name is books resolve namespace also and similarly you can add all these others public db set books uh, book author book category book store category etc book category is there is a no needed because uh, uh, that is the middle uh, class you can say book authors and uh, 
category bookstore is remaining bookstores and uh, the next one is category categories okay so just use migration that is the first migration or you can say init you can use uh, init migration add migration and the migration name is init that is the initialization you can say so uh, add migration it does initializations so successfully init initialization is created after that oops uh, microsoft entity framework core dot model dot validations um, that is the own model creating using hash column types okay 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 it's only a warning no store types that is specified of the decimal properties uh, price okay and that is uh, uh, it's not a big issue so you can use update database to create a uh, database for your e-commerce project and after that i will uh, resolve that issue in uh, later video tutorials okay so successfully created your database and uh, you can check into your uh, sql server so that is the newly created you can say uh, newly installed visual studio 2022 so just uh, reinitiate your database connection in sql server explorer uh, server explorer you can say okay so that is the migration class and uh, that is the fresh data connections so, uh, you can see so just right click on it and refresh it first of all if you have some data connection there is a no data connection in the data connection tab so just use it microsoft sql server and continue and type the name of the server that is local db ms sql local db local db ms sql local db okay and check the select or entire a database names loading database names uh, actually uh, wait for some times loading database names okay a network related or instance specific error okay server is not found so just copy that server name from the app settings dot session file and uh, paste under the server name okay so just first of all cancel it and uh, you can use the sql server local db ms sql local db there is the same name okay and just paste add connection and choose microsoft sql server and that server name is this and select it loading database names it will uh, take some times oops okay okay double slash is not there only the single slash between the that is and you can choose it okay so there is the name of the ecom and click on the test connection test connection and okay under you can see that first connection string is there and good looking uh, uh, in visual studio 2022 the change of the tables uh, icons you can see so these are the tables book book category book author ASP.NET user tokens, ASP.NET users, etc. Use show table data and table definition is not also there. So, uh, thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to e commerce project. And I will uh, design it e commerce project and uh, I will create it uh, successful cards and order features. And if you like this video, please uh, share this video on your Instagram, uh, Facebook, WhatsApp to help other pupils. 
and thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other remainings thank you very much for watching